Welcome back to The Talking Hedge. I'm Josh Kincaid, Capital Markets Analyst and host of your Cannabis Business Podcast. Today, we're going to take a look at a report from Benzinga about cannabis and caffeine and how mixing them affects your high. A lot has been said about cannabis and caffeine with different companies developing products that combine the two. Even before cannabis was embraced by the mainstream enthusiasts of the drug, we're finding creative ways of mixing these two elements by adding cannabis to oil or butter and mixing it with their coffee, perfecting recipes that resulted in a good high with a nice flavor. It's a great way to wake and bake, nothing like a nice euphoric, uplifting, energetic high when you add a little bit of cannabis to it. And if you've looked at the molecule between caffeine and cannabis, uh, there's some similarities there. It looks like they'd be a nice little fit. I mean, I I didn't do well in, in biology or chemistry, so don't quote me on that, but just looking at the molecule, you can kind of see some, how you, how you would see a sim, not a similarity, but how it would be a good fit. But more research needs to be conducted in order to understand how these two elements work together. But most anecdotal evidence says that the pairing of these two results in a high that's unlike any other. So here's what we know about caffeine and cannabis and the effects that they produce on the body. One is that both elements increase dopamine levels. So a study from 2017 found that caffeine and cannabis increased dopamine levels in subjects who consumed it. So when these two are consumed together, this boost is increased, resulting in a powerful euphoria and a different experience than the one you'd be used to consuming these substances separately. Here's a terrible analogy, but beans and rice, you don't get protein from either one. Beans, you don't have the bioavailability, but the enzyme that's created when you eat it with rice allows for that bioavailability uptake. So eating those two together is better than eating them separately. Maybe that's what that means. They can also increase your heart rate. So caffeine and cannabis can both increase your heart rate. So it's important to be careful when mixing them together, especially if you're someone whose heart rate increases or can't fall asleep when consuming more than two cups of coffee a day. And when mixing caffeine and weed, choose products that strains that don't contain too much caffeine or THC in a way that's eliminating as much discomfort as possible. I'd also say that if you have anxiety normally, stay away from caffeine entirely. Caffeine is not good for you if you have anxiety, so just find some other way to wake yourself up. Caffeine might prolong your high, so a study conducted on monkeys showed some interesting results for caffeine and marijuana. I don't know, maybe some of you guys were in that uh, that survey. So in the survey, a group of monkeys were administered with one milligram of caffeine. The other group didn't take anything, but both groups of monkeys had access to unlimited amounts of cannabis. I want to be a monkey. The study found that monkeys who ingested the milligram of caffeine were less likely to ingest more weed. So researchers theorized that the small amount of caffeine boosted the monkey's high, making it last longer and require less doses of cannabis. I think that's a terrible result because I've had both. I've had caffeine and cannabis. It makes you incredibly jittery. So you don't want to go and smoke more cannabis if you've had caffeine because you want the caffeine to get the hell out of your system. (laughs) I, I hope that's not the whole report there. That was fucking terrible. All right, so you might feel wired and tired. Cannabis is a depressant with caffeine as a stimulant. So Life Science reports that despite this, caffeine and cannabis effects don't cancel each other out. Unlike the role that coffee plays when consumed by someone who's drunk, maybe sobering them up, consuming coffee while high will just accentuate that high. And like always, be careful. So like all things that are cannabis, it's important to find a dose of caffeine and cannabis that works for you. So if you're interested in trying out the combination of caffeine and cannabis, prepare a cup and ingest it in the morning, just like any edible, do a little bit and then a little bit more and figure it out. Buttered coffee is fairly popular. Bulletproof coffee, you can just add some coffee in there, get that nice little earthy. If you don't like the flavor very much, then you can just add some creamer uh, to that. Get a nice little hemp mocha, for example. Uh, You won't taste anything. Um, lots of different ways to administer that. Let me know what your favorite is. But with that, we're going to roll this one up. I'm Josh Kincaid. This is The Talking Hedge. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Or don't. And I'm out.